Hi, so this is the second video related to uh, how we can use uh, multiple signals coming from different tracks in life and how we can send that these signals directly into a uh, Max for Life uh, device. So let's create at first the Max for Life device, which will be, uh, for instance, uh, analyzing an audio signal. So let's put something like that, which is the default Max for Life audio effects. Sorry. And then we can do just we can add an object named plugin. And we can address different input like that. I will save the device in the same folder as my um yeah, oops, this is not here, here. In this one, so analyzing sounds, for instance, something like that. And as soon as I do that, I can just add some uh, objects like that, makers that can just uh, show the amplitude of each signal and uh, see how we can address each input of this device. Uh, to each track in life. So as soon as I save this kind of device here, let's uh, save it, let's name the tracks uh, where I put my device. We can do something like analyzing audio, okay? And uh, now I can directly address each uh, audio to uh, element in uh, my audio routine of each track to this first track. So I choose analyzing audio, which is the title of my first track. And then I can directly address the signals coming from uh, these tracks into my device like that. Okay. So basically I can uh, just use three, four. So indeed one, two are just the proper input of this device. So uh, basically, if I send a signal here, if I do something like that, which is the microphone of my computer, I can just see the signal here directly addressed in this device. So I have a signal coming from this Pagon track in live. I addressed that by using audio to um, parameter in my uh, audio routing of this track and I choose exactly the place I want to send it, okay? So this is quite easy. And indeed the mistake is not to, uh, yeah, maybe I can also do that, no, it doesn't work. So basically I just have to uh, do something like that, and it works. So I can also start directly by three, four, five, six, for instance. I lose some elements like that, and I just have to uh, select something like that, okay? So uh, now I can use this device for, um, for analyzing the sound, so uh, I will take maybe um, something like um, the DSI descriptors externals. I will take uh, maybe the, I don't know, I'm not sure, the centroid, like that. and. Uh, Let's grab, let's, let's steal some parts of the help, like that. So um, we will try to just analyze the audio coming from these uh, tracks. Let's, let's do it on the, this one. Um, yeah, like that and like that. And uh, maybe we just we just take one channel like this, and uh, basically I don't have any signal here because uh, I didn't commute on the right element. And uh, let's do that. So at the moment I'm just analyzing a signal coming from um, this track into this device. So I can have a basically uh, just a track only for hosting my device and for analyzing stuff like that. And um, 
The center width is corresponding to the very center, which is basically the kind of mean of the my wall of frequency spectrum. So um, basically, it can be very useful for just analyzing the brightness of the sound. And uh, I, I use uh, that often in my lab performance just for altering visuals. So um, I can do something like that, putting this one here. Oops. So these external uh, are very, very, very interesting bit. Uh, I've been designed by uh, um, Emmanuel Jourdan and another guy making very interesting stuff for about extracting uh, sound descriptors and stuff like that. So uh, I can just save that and do something like that. So if I uh, use a very If I just return my uh, microphone, I can just analyze the frequency like that. I, I could also use that for uh, just analyzing um, the um, centroid of another sound for coming from, I don't know, maybe um, I can take just a um, basic operator like that. So, oops. Yeah. I have to do that, and uh, I just have to address correctly my output. So I can do that, and uh, I can just create a basic base like that. So as you can see, uh, I don't have any sound going to my master, so. What I can do in that case is just uh, duplicate my track like that and basically address this one to the master. Okay. So, I can do something like that, just grabbing the signal from my previous track, which is this one, copying this one to the right device, that's the right device. And now I'm just basically analyzing this one. So the frequency is too uh, low, but we can basically have uh, the centroid of uh, the signal at each moment, you know. So I can just do something like that to fix so I have a better amplitude. Um, and then I can just uh, alter my signal like that. Here I have my spectrum and my just my century. So basically, I will try to make another video just uh, for showing how we can use this value, sound value, sound descriptors for altering some visuals or some stuff like that. So now you, you I think you are uh, you are able to uh, uh, just uh, basically send any uh, signal from any tracks into another max for life device which is in another track which is crazy and we can do that uh, we really can do that in uh, Ableton Live 10 so see you bye